let's do the problem. This problem. Uh, the question is asking: uh, Find the best description of span of one two one three one one five five three. So let's see how we can do this. So first of all, to do this kind of question, we have to uh, do the Gauss theorem to check whether those three are linearly independent, right? So in this case, uh, if I take this one, the first row is going to be one two one, second row is three one one, and the third row is going to be five three three. So now what I can do is, so let's bring it down. So one two one to eliminate. So I'm doing the Gauss theorem, so I have to make all the values below the pivot to zero. So in this case, to make this one into zero, I can multiply the first equation by negative three and add it to the second equation. So if I do that, I will get zero right here. And negative three times two is going to be negative six plus one is going to be negative five. And negative three times one is going to be negative three plus one is going to be negative two. And the last one, I can do the same thing. If I multiply that one first equation by minus five and add it to the third equation I will get 0 and negative 5 times 2 is going to be negative 10 negative negative 5 times 2 negative 10 negative 10 this is 5 right this is 5 I copied this wrong because it's 5 right here so it's 5 so negative 10 minus 5 is going to be minus 5 negative 10 plus 5 is going to be minus 5 then five, minus 5 times 1 is going to be minus 5 minus 5 plus 3 is going to be minus 2 and if you notice that we have second row and third row with the same numbers so we can eliminate one of them so if to eliminate them uh, eliminate that what I can do I can multiply one of them by negative and add it to the other one so let's <clears throat> so in this case I am multiplying this second equation by negative and adding to the third equation so negative r2 plus r3 is going to give us 0, 0, 0. And to fully solve the Gauss Jordan, I have to make this one into 1. To do that, I can divide this one by negative 5. So 1, 2, 1, 0, 1, 2 over 5. So I am dividing the R2 by negative 5. So if I divide, I will get this one. And then uh, I have to make this one uh, whatever the value below and above equal to 0 that's the Gauss theorem pattern so in this case I have to make this one into 0 to do that I can multiply the second equation by negative 1 and add it to this first equation so let's do that so negative r2 plus r1 is going to give us negative 2r2 two 2r2 two. Two r2 plus r1 is going to give us 1 0 and if I multiply this one by negative 2 it's going to be negative 4 over 5 negative 4 over 5 plus 1 is going to be 1 is we can write the 1 as 5 over 5 5 over 5 minus 4 over 5 is 1 over 5 then in the bottom we are going to have the same number 0 1 2 5 and we fully solved the Gauss Jordan pattern we are fully brought to the Gauss Jordan pattern now from this one we know that uh, we have two linearly independent vectors and the third one is a combination of these two so therefore the first uh, question is asking find the best description of span in R3 the best description is we can say best description is description is span of the first two vectors because those are the linearly independent vectors so I can write um, 1 2 1 3 1 1 1 2 1 3 1 1 and that's the answer for the first question if a part let's go to the b uh, also yeah that's the answer for the b a part and b part what is the question is asking what is the geometric interpretation of this subspace so geometric uh, interpretation we can uh, decide based on the dimension in this case we have two two pivots and two linearly independent vectors so the dimension is two dimension is two therefore it's a plane so plane in r3 so therefore we can say this is the plane in R3 and that's the final answer for that for this question I hope you guys like this video see you next time